what I need you to be thinking about after this is uh, your vote for next year's Mosaic of the Year. Um, now, these are the shortlisted nominations, okay? Uh, we had a good response, uh, and we've shortlisted those people who, um, whose work really demonstrated that they communicated uh, the, the beauty and riches of mosaic into a wider world. Uh, the first one is Emma Biggs for her fountain rill in, um, I think it's in Staffordshire, I'm not sure. Sheffield. Sheffield, that's it. And um, again, every single one of these nominees is a master of their, of their, um, of their medium. The second is Miley Christie, Miley Christie, whose fabulous work you remember from last year. This year, this is the passion flower that stole the Chelsea Flower Show. Um, absolutely fabulous. In, in scale and in concept. Now this list, the list you saw when we started, is gonna be up on the BAM website, if not tomorrow, then the day after. And I'd love you to have a look at the rest of the pictures surrounding these, because I had to select just a few. Um, the next is Tessa Hunkin, whose work is uh, an ongoing project called Shepherdess Walk. It's about a five-minute walk from, um, uh, it's either Dalston or, um, uh, which one? Yeah, only a few minutes from Old Street. It's well worth a look, um, not only for its beauty, its appropriateness, its dedication to the community, um, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing to see, taking traditional mo mosaic medium and uh, the local uh, disadvantaged community and, and making a beautiful setting locally. Well, luckily, this is the Oliver Budd restoration of his father's mosaic in Birmingham, and he was nominated this year for his work at taking it down and restoring it. It's a beautiful large work in Mosaic Smolty. It's a, a lesson in what can be done um, if, if needed to be done. Um, this uh, fifth one is uh, Mary Louisa Tade. Uh, she exhibited in London two years ago. Many of you would have seen her octopus. This is... Uh, uh, in Venice, it's part of the, Ven the, the City of Venice uh, um, exhibition for the Venice Biennale, and it was a whole thing about the Silk Road. And it wasn't just this mosaic, it was a whole structure of printed material in the mosaic style, tapestries and wall-standing mosaics, um, really taking in, in, in a a situation which can all, all often be very abstract, very conceptual, into a really um, grounded, right in the middle of um, the best craft work. And there's, um, it was on a mirrored, mirrored um, background in a tiny little... Uh, again, please look this up on the internet because it will be a treat and a delight for you, especially those of you who like doing tapestry and who appreciate silk. And um, right next door in the Egyptian pavilion was uh, Mohammed Banway's, Banway's um, um, Treasuries of Knowledge. The, the Egyptian pavilion was uh, a, a brilliant exercise, an understatement, and in uh, brilliant use of materials. Uh, it goes back to reinforce our, our um, I mean, Egyptian, uh, Egypt is a tough place to be, but he started where he was, he used what he had, and um, um, he did what he could, and absolutely brilliantly. Of course, the judges have had horrible arguments about who should win, because it's like choosing which is your favorite children. And the standard is so high, so very high, that it's, um, it's uh, not going to be, a, it wasn't possible to make a, an easy choice. But the choice we did make was um, Maria Luisa Tade for her silk route at the Venice uh, Biennale Pavilion. And I, I hope we've 
all had a wonderful day. I've had a wonderful day, and I've been so pleased to be here. And if we know we're going to be here next year, we can build on that, exhibitions, uh, visits, everything, and everyone contributing. Thank you. Thank you.